should get some money to success. They have been pushed all the way by Notts County. Hi guys, welcome back to another video <coughs> a preview of Vexen vs Morecambe at the race course Saturday 3 o'clock at the Stoke Carras. We are home to Morecambe. Obviously at the minute Wrexham sit fourth after that loss at Ackerton. Um, obviously it's a bad day at the office. No one turned up that game. We played bad. It was, it was awful to watch. Yes, we had like two was off the bat, penalty was one, and one minute before that. We didn't really create much. Uh, fans, again, obviously good numbers travelled to watch it. Uh, there was a bit of things going on, on the ground, what I seen. People um, kicking off. The other part, obviously, with things getting thrown at the keeper. But the keeper is no saint. He's winding fans up most of the game. Then number five spitting at fans but nothing's been done about that so where's the statement about that one from Ackleton then number five with the hill spat at fans at own fans nothing to say about that but we're getting obviously the backlash for throwing yes we shouldn't do it but throwing vapes at a keeper but the outcome is not getting done for spitting at fans so we move on from that one so right looking at Morecambe they sit ninth on the table, they won eight, they drawn three and lost five. So they scored 25 goals and you can see the 20. So with Wrexham, obviously won nine, drawn six, lost three, scoring 34 goals, letting 29 and we sit fourth. Obviously, you know the top three is Stockport, Mansfield and North County. With joint points in county. And 33, so we're still around there, which is a good thing. Um, obviously, going to this, I think, I think Morecambe, oh, have they lost the last two? I think Morecambe's lost the last two. So, I think they lost to Greensby 3 2. I think they lost, I believe, lost to Barrow. So, Away the lost, away the lost. So not really do good away. The record's not the greatest away. Um so obviously being at home, hopefully home advantage guys at that one. But obviously you gotta look like who they got who they got like a threat. Obviously they have got like obviously Michael Mellon and is that is that the son of Mickey Mellon I believe I think the, the older manager I'm not too sure. I was like Adam Mayo, obviously Carmen Smith, Ethan Walker, obviously Charlie Brown, obviously Devonport. We got Jake Taylor as well. So obviously yeah, it's not really. Do not mean like banging a lot of goals in. Obviously, I think the top goal scorer is that Michael Mellon, the number nine. I think the Bullying, he's got nine goals. So, but you do get goals like midfield, obviously, the highest one of five goals. The forwards, you got nine, three, one, one. And obviously, with defence, you don't really score from defence, too fair. But their main job is defending it. But yeah, from, they're not really scoring like goal, goals everywhere, like. So, obviously, what we say about going to this? Um, we need to bounce back after Aquaton defeat. Especially at home, we've got a cup game coming up. So, we try to get a point on the board before that uh, second round against Yeovil comes up next week. It is on telly, guys. I think it's a um, quarter to four kickoff. Um, but we kick off, be fair. I thought it'd be four o'clock or something, but yeah, that's the third next, that's next Sunday. Now, obviously, I think we've got 
two away games, I think. Then we're home, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's Colchester. Um, I think it's Colchester, the next home game. Then Newport. So I'm sure we've got two away again. I think it's Harrogate and Forest Green. I think Harrogate's first and Forest Green. So we need to try to get a point on the board, guys. Um, look at us. Look at our lineups. Who's available? Mendy's back from international. McLean's back. He's finally retired, so no more call up for him. So he's back. Obviously, Elliot Lee will be back anyway. Normal. Mullen, Farmer. I think we've got like a strong enough team to beat Morecambe. Be fair, on paper, like. But it's just performance, isn't it? We just need to go out and just get a performance now and get the three points. And we've got that little break in the cup and that. Could other team be playing, I believe, on that Saturday? So we have a game in hand anyway, will we? Or was that a blank week guy? I'm not too sure. I have to look. But I just know that we're in the cup on that Sunday. So is there games on that weekend? If you let us know in the comments. Uh, I'm not too sure. If there's any games, oh, yeah, it's like more. I just looked up more comes day in the FA Cup against Wickham. So that's what I mean. So I'm not too sure. I mean, any games are playing, I don't know, but I will do a check and find out. But if you guys know, just drop in the comments, please let us know. I'll do a preview for Yovo in the week for the for the Sunday. Uh, obviously. Vlogs, yes, not meant to do them, but some people are still doing them. Like I said last video, I don't do major big details, I do a little clips, it's not much, but it helps me with confidence, helps me like be myself. Obviously, I'm, I'm learning, I do want to do things like this in the future. Things do, I, I do all do like podcasts and stuff like that. But it's just getting into it, I'm not trying to get around it. So I'm just doing little vlogs at a minute, get myself out there. Obviously, grow my channel. But yeah, um, looking for the team, line up. Obviously, I thought half for in goal. Obviously, you go back to your normal five. Obviously, would you put Mendy there or McLean? I would put Mendy. Um, obviously, your normal back. Five then or three that you call it with the wing backs. So is the Hayden fit? I'm not sure. So if it be Hayden Tolza, he might or he might do like Tom O'Connor, Tolza and Evans. But I'd rather Evans midfield. But we see how it goes like then you know, obviously midfield. You probably put like Jones, Lee. If Evans don't play centre back, I think it'd be Evans. Jones Lee. I like to see Young on a little go back in the team. But see what happens in that one. And I'll probably the front two. He might go with Mullin and Palmer. I'll go with. I go Mullin and Palmer as the front two. So uh, that's a wrap on that one guys. So can you just subscribe and please share the content. Um, if I do do a little vlog, it'll be up tomorrow night or something like that so that you can watch it there's rumors going around like twitter that tyson fury himself might be at the game our owners i'm not too sure if he's there then they'll be there when they could they make it about them when they like by tyson and stuff like that so I'm not too sure how true it is because he, he's a more well i'll say more lad but he lives in Morkham. there's rumors that He's going to buy Morecambe or something like that. I'm not sure what happened with that. He's going to buy Morecambe. So, he might be at the game, he might not. There's just a lot of rumours going around. So, we'll see with me, guys. So, thank you for watching. Take care. Please subscribe. See you all tomorrow. Thank you. Wrexham fully deserve this. Put the trophy together. Wrexham fully deserve this.